<laughs> no, not on me, not on me. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be doing some rehousings. So I wanted to try out these new Tarantula Cribs 4 inch 360 enclosures. And I believe that is what is in these boxes. Um, I met up with Mr. Dr. Tarantula Cribs Mo a few weeks ago and I, he, these unmarked mysterious boxes were within the box of things that I asked for. So I thought we could go ahead and open them together and hopefully they're what I think they are. I got like a plant and I just wanted to do some like really cute planted setups, something like a little bit more intricate than usual. Hopefully this is what I think it is and we can do that. So I guess let's start opening these mystery boxes. Yes, it is what I thought it was. <laughs> and lucky for us, it does look to be like the fossorial one. This is an enclosure you're gonna be able to look at from every angle. And so you want it to look presentable from every angle, right? Awesome, so we got one arboreal and three of these terrestrial ones. I'm gonna be using this one for my scorpion, so the substrate doesn't need to be tall anyway, and I think it'll work just fine. Let's start with something not too complicated. I wanna give this Brachypilma albiceps a new enclosure. It's been in this for so long. I think it's time to finally upgrade it into something a little bit better. Set these aside. And we'll get started. These are so tiny and cute. So first we're just gonna do some substrate, of course. We're making a big mess today. Also, I just realized the filter is still on. And yes, the water is brown because I actually put a new piece of wood in there. It's releasing tannins again because I like that water to stay dark. But yeah, I'm gonna turn this filter off just in case it's being annoying. So anyway, I think these are so nice. So next we're actually going to be using this little plant. I believe this is called a nerve plant. I see this used in terrariums a lot, which makes me think it's pretty hardy. And I know it doesn't need direct sunlight and it does well in indirect light and shady areas. So yeah, let's just kind of break this up a little. All right, let's just plant it right on in here. I also have a little bit of this frog moss that we can use. I really like this because if you hydrate it, it will actually start growing. And then of course we're gonna take a couple leaves and put in some leaf litter. I've of course got some springtails here. There we go. So yeah, this is what we have come up with. It's really cute, it's simple. I think the Brachypilma albiceps is going to thrive in this. So let's go ahead and try moving it over. We definitely molted recently. Look at it, it still has like a little bit of that waxy look to it, like when they're fresh from a molt. And normally I don't rehouse so soon after a molt, but what I think I'm going to do is to just simply pick this up. See how we're not touching it or moving it at all? All this excess stuff off we don't want. Look how fresh it is. And then just gently put it in here. But there we go. So I'm expecting these next couple to be a little on the flighty side. So we are going to be moving both of my Davis Pentaloris slings, which are conveniently housed in these little candy containers. You see I have one right here and then this one right here. So yeah, I think this will be just the perfect amount. They're gonna have a lot more room to dig, which as you can tell, they like to dig quite a lot. So let's just set up both their enclosures really quick. Thank you. 
perfect. Um, since these guys really like to dig, we're gonna give them some sphagnum moss. This is just gonna be for some texture and we are going to do some leaf litter for them as well. And we will do some springtails also for them. So here's what we are working with. We're not gonna do cork or anything because I think they're just gonna burrow and they'll still have that coverage with like the leaf litter and the sphagnum moss. When they're small like this, I don't think they always need a cork. So hopefully they aren't gonna run. I've got a catch cup ready just in case. Now these aren't particularly defensive tarantulas or anything. They're just quick and so you just gotta be careful. Oh, that's a little piece of cork. Forgot about that, I'll put that in here. <laughs> Wrong way. Mm. That was so unnecessary, no. So that was a little bit spicier than I was anticipating. I can't believe we are already kicking hairs that freely, but okay. Here we go again. This might be easier if I just do this. I forgot about these cute little cork houses being in these, so we're gonna reuse that as well. Really not wanting to come out, I guess, but I think it's gonna like its new enclosure, so. Stop turning around. <laughs> no, not on me, not on me. Look at that color. All right, let's go into the enclosure. Perfect. They are going to love these. Oh my God, they're so cool. Okay, so the last animal that we are going to be rehousing today is not a tarantula. This is actually a gift that I received from one of you guys over at the NARBC when Richard Tarantula Cribs and I did those meet and greets. It's just a little baby flat rack scorpion. I believe they said it was a couple years old and I actually have an adult that I have had for four years now. That's like this big, like they get huge, but it takes forever as you can see. I wanna give it a better enclosure. This isn't necessarily going to be a bigger enclosure, but I wanna give it a little bit, you know, put it, Put a little bit more effort into it and make it you know nice and cozy so yeah i'm kind of excited about this because it's going to be something a little different than usual and i've also been wanting to try this this is the stone desert mix it is in the color black and i also bought it the specialist cutest little flat rock that i could find i think this will look really awesome with the substrate Ooh, wow so this is like really chunky this is like what it is i wonder if it like breaks up Okay, perfect. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna mix this with some cocoa fiber because I think flat rocks like it when it's mixed. Here goes some cocoa fiber. So then here is the little rock that I got. 
All right, so just a simple little setup, you know, nothing too crazy, but I think it'll be nice. <laughs> He's so little. Oh my god. Now these are pretty friendly and docile. I don't think they are very venomous at all, or at least they're not medically significant. They're a great beginner scorpion. If you want something drier than the Asian forest scorpion, then definitely try to find a little flat rack. These guys are awesome. All right, so let's try to get him in here. Oh, <laughs> whoops, he fell upside down and then he caught himself. My bad, dude. Sorry about that. I'm going to go ahead and drop a little cricket in as well. I actually just picked some up. He doesn't eat very often or very much, but he is due for a meal, so yeah. So yeah, remember if you do shop with Tarantula Cribs to use my code, it's CAT10, you can save 10% and it's an affiliate code so it also helps my channel. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Like it if you did, subscribe if you're not, and you want to be. Don't forget I'm in Instagram the news probably way too much, it's at tarantula.cat, you can go follow me there. I also have a Patreon podcast and a Teespring, it is all linked down below and I will see you guys soon. Let's get into the Patreon pet picks. 